hi welcome to today's video and um, i still remain your show making it easy to tell Oduroli mojibola today as you can see what we have on the screen we are going to be looking at these unique men's men sleepers now of course the major thing you need to first of all let's um, get used to is understanding what the width of the straps you know his now you don't don't forget also that you have to work with whatever size you know you are actually working with it's what will determine the width that's what i'm trying to you know say now for this it's actually size 41 and then um, definitely this work for 41 and works for 42 as well so i'm going to be measuring first of all what the length of this part is going to be if you're working in inch you can decide to work with one inch under or you decide to work with three centimeter under then you come this way and come this way and then you come under here this is actually like um 23.5 i'm going to add like three centimeter to here just from as my last in allowance so 23 24 25 26 so we have 26.5 as our length now if you look at the design you find out that there is a cut at this point where this actually went inside and the other one came up so as a result of that instead of using my 26.5 i'm going to be adding about them um, three centimeter to it 26 plus 3 that's 29.5 so let's say we are using 30 as our length for this particular one of course we have already calculated the cut and all of that that is first so make sure you write that down somewhere 30 centimeter long if you prefer to work in inches just go ahead and then um, fold this way and then you have about um, 11.75 um, that's what you have 11 three quarter this is it's around here so 11.75 this is 11.5 and this is 11.75 so in inch so that's what it will be in inch now let's come to this side what we find out here is that we have um, like a, a a little strap here so with this this is about two and two quarter of an inch if i'm going to be adding one inch it means it to be three quarter of an inch so i need three quarter of an inch what do i do if i want it in centimeter fold and go the other one i'm going to be using about eight centimeter so or 2.25 inches all right so we already know what this part is now let's come to this other side as well don't forget i always use three for my lasting allowance you can decide to do otherwise but make sure it's not too small because it will be passing through the inner so or probably going in into the inner so so just make sure you have enough you know for your lesson so we have this here don't forget this is going to be entering here and then here we are already having about 12 centimeter 12 centimeter plus another three that is um 15 centimeter so i have 15 centimeter for the ring toe now if you want yours in inches of course you are already covered just go ahead and use six inches six inches so apart from that i'm sure you will notice there is a strap that was on top of this and then that strap went right into this particular one so because it went right into in between the insole in between you know the big toe and the insole i'm going to position it like this you can see where i place it i'm going to make sure that i have enough to so this is 7.5 7.5 plus 73 that's 8.5 9.5 so that strap is going to be 10.5 centimeter also if you want yours in inches let's see what that is gonna be it's actually that's one of the major challenges of this particular um inches now this first one is not 4.1 inch that's the amazing thing it's not 4.1 now this is 4. Point, um, this is 4.25 so this will be about what um, 4.124 or 125 well it's all your choice you can decide to use 4.25 so that you don't stress yourself about this first term um, calibration uh -huh. so let's say 4.25 then for our 10.5 um, um, centimeter 
so with all of this we now know what our measurements are what we don't know is the width so what do i use as the width now for what i'm having you know at this point i can actually use this this particular width of my ruler for that i can use the width of my ruler and then um, on this particular part i have uh, i'm thinking this can actually work i can use this now the width of my ruler is three centimeter i can also use it on this other side too if i so desire i can use it if you look at the picture you find out that from this leather or feather rather of the shoelace you find out from here it actually became smaller as it goes in here so i can decide to actually use this three centimeter or 2.5 centimeter for this side and then begin to reduce it as it goes into about two centimeters so that two centimeter or 1.8 centimeter width is what will be ins inserted in as our tongue you know right you know inside the so right here you understand what i'm saying so with this now we've got all the measurements let's go ahead and begin to cut all right you're welcome back now the first thing we're going to be looking at is this particular side which was actually eight centimeter so i told us we're going to be using this particular width for that side now you can decide to make it wider you can make it wider now let me see is it up to eight centimeter yes it's up to eight centimeter always make sure you have a straight edge so if you are taking your measurements you can decide to turn this way and then let's it start from your zero uh -huh. i really need you to see this start from zero and you have eight centimeter right here move it forward again and measure your eight centimeter again so you can join that together here just join it here now let's go ahead and measure what we need we need it to be three centimeter now you can decide to make it wider if you are not using three you can use 3.5 so let's say we are using 3.5 for example you will come to this side and also measure your 3.5 ensure it aligns 3.5 if you don't want to make use three if you are using a size that is smaller than 42 or 41 you can actually make it three you understand can you see what it looks like i'm just going to cut that out don't forget that it has a curve you know it's curve on this side and curve on this side the look is curved, so you definitely need a curve object to do that you can use the cover of um, your glue your shoe glue to actually do it so just place it at the corner and you are good to go so let's leave this first let's go ahead to the next one we have this particular part that I was telling us that we will be reducing and that's where we have um, 10.5 centimeters. So let me use this particular part. Let me see 10.5. Let me first of all measure. Let me, you, like I said, anywhere you are starting, always make sure you draw your straight line. So with this edge, this is also a straight edge. I'm going to go ahead and um, make use of um, 2.5 here. I'm using 2.5. You can decide to use 2. I'm using 2.5. And don't forget that our length is actually 10.5. This is 10.5 right here. So I'm going to come to this side and check where I have 10.5 as well and just mark it this way. But I still have to check if it is as wide as 2.5 you understand i am just drawing the line this is my 2.5 here i will mark it upwards so that i can connect it with this one so like i said it's not actually the same width all through so i can decide to reduce this side you understand i can reduce it a little bit since i have 2.5 here the midpoint is going to be 1.25 which is going to be somewhere here you understand so with that i can reduce this let's say i reduce by i'm coming let's see what we can i don't want the reduction to be really much so maybe we are just going to do if we do is 0 0.5 and is 0 0.5 on this side what are we going to be having let me i need to be sure of this 0 0.5 here oh no 0 0.5 
from the edge is 0 0.5. From this side to 0 0.5. So we are left with 1.5 in the middle. Don't forget it's um, 2.5. I just want to reduce it a little bit. So what I did was I reduced by 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 here. So I'm going to be connecting it with this one at the edge here. So you can see what it looks like. So with this now, I can easily trim. I can trim this. So if you have, I'm going to have this. So I'll trim this as well. Please note, it can be wider than this, like I said. So this is what I'm going to be having right here. This is going to be going in. Okay. This is supposed to go in. So how come I'm having a short strap? Am I sure I'm using the right length? Am I using the right length? Oh, it's supposed to be 15. The length is supposed to be 15. I use 12. So... Don't worry, it's still going to be the same thing. All I need to do is to make sure that it's as long. Instead of 10.5, it's supposed to be 15. I think I did not check what I wrote here properly. This is actually for the outer part. This is 15 and 16 inches for this particular side. So we still need to add some more to this. So, but it's still going to be the same process, mind you. Now that we have that, another thing that we, okay, let me cut, cut this out. Let me cut this part out. Please note it can be wider than this. I keep saying that it can be wider. You can see I'm already covering it with my scissors. If you are not sure, please get something to use to do that. You can see what it looks like. Good. So let me quickly now cut out the wide part. The wide part where it's actually 30. And then I want it to be as wide as um, 4 centimeter. So I'm not sure this space here will be, is up to 4. I'm not sure this is up to 4. So I have to move down a bit. Don't forget, I still have a very straight line here. A straight line here. So let me just use that part for. Let's say I'm using 4 centimeter for that side. Four. I'm going to come down here and measure four again. Then connect them together. So I'm going to be having this. That is just going to be for the instep points. So, don't forget our length is supposed to be 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter. So, with what I have here. With what I have here, you can see this. And you can see this. So, from this now, we are going to try as much as possible. You can see we have so much excess on this side. I'm going to ensure that um, this is not much on this side. So, it's going to be positioned this way right so now for this part that has you know there is a curve here there's something around here this one entered inside and this one is actually on top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just make use of please i need you to follow this if you look at the position is actually around here you understand because you have to also learn to look. You understand? We have to learn to also look. So I'm going to curve this one. And curve. We really need to curve this part appropriately. You can see what I have. It's not looking okay from here. That's why I always suggest that you use, you know, a curve object just use a curve object i just want that place to be curved then this is coming this is going to be inside it now 
so we don't have anything to worry about so this side i can decide to put it here <laughs> since we don't really need that part it's going to be under as you can see you can see me trying to draw it backward i didn't position it like this the design will not be fine if you position it like this it's supposed to come towards the back a little bit so we are going to be having this on top of it right here and we are still having enough here can you see what this looks like right here i don't know if you can see it okay let me use the other side so that you can see this so you can actually use um different um colors of leather if you so desire but the stitch will actually significantly show you understand that um, there are two there it's actually on top of it so don't forget to make sure it comes towards the back I don't know if you can see this you can see what i have here and this is what we're going to be having for this particular part and you see what we have so for the front part i mean the one here you remember we have cut that i'm going to be placing that here don't forget it's going to be around here all right so let me just try to use our paper tape to hold this down so that you can see what this is so you can see i've held all these ones down here so the other one is this strap that i have here and i remember that our measurement was 10.5 which was what i used initially for this particular part that made you know this one a bit small so this is what you have here i'm using 10 and um, 1.5 as the width 1.5 don't forget there is an opening here where it's passed through before it entered into the one the ring toe now for my ring toe of course i've increased the one i cut initially and this is what i'm having here don't forget it was 15 centimeter long so this is what i'm having right here so definitely this is going to actually be on top of this is going to be entering into this and then of course is this is staying here and this is entering into this particular one now so if we are going to be put inserting it if we find out that this side is perfectly okay let's say let me increase it a bit more so that we can have enough for our lasting allowance so i have enough here i can add a bit more just for so with what we have here then i can decide to actually make sure that i punch wherever this is going to be positioned it has to be at the center please note make sure you align it in such a way that it is at the center of this particular one so let's say i'm punching here and i am also punching here so let me go ahead and punch these ones just for us to see what is gonna look like after so you can see what it looks like so um, you need to be careful with this so this is going into this don't forget this is going into this and both of them are going together inside both of them are going together inside here you see this one flying is going inside with it so it's going right down there with it why this is coming here don't forget so if you look at this one here it's supposed to come down so let me adjust it you know this is going to enter into this one and stay here and also this will be here why this you know it's supposed to be outside we are supposed to be seeing it uh -huh. so we need to position this then this is coming right here so i think we need to adjust this for this to come here so you can see what we have right here with this so we are still going to of course open this and then use our rivets to hold this down and this is really very beautiful you can combine two colors as far as i'm concerned maybe this and this just like we have here all other ones can be the same thing you understand uh -huh. and then um, you are good to go with this kind of design so just go ahead and create yours ask me questions if you have any and let's move on <laughs> 